moving on in a sense. I'm gonna take a shit so bad, so big that I have to cut up with your ass cheeks. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Don't complain. I know some of you heard this stuff last night, but you're anime fans. You're used to seeing the same shit over and over. <laughs> Yeah, it's really good being here. I um, was actually pretty late. I actually almost didn't make it. I was stuck in the bathroom. <laughs> Before anybody jumps to any conclusions, I was having sex. <laughs> and before you jump to any more conclusions, it was anal sex. <laughs> I figured it was appropriate. The good thing about having anal sex in the bathroom is if you make a mistake, the toilet's right there. <laughs> Now, I wasn't actually having anal sex in the bathroom. I'm a Catholic. I understand that sort of thing belongs in the church. <laughs> you know, um, what I was doing was I was flushing plushies down the toilet because I hate them. And it was going pretty well for a while until I got to the last house from Pokemon. It was too big. It wouldn't go down, so I was fighting with it for a while. Finally went down, I felt pretty good about myself, but everybody in my bathroom was pretty upset. There was a woman in the stall to the left of me, and she was furious. There was a woman in the stall to the right of me, and she was also furious. In fact, every woman in that bathroom was furious. And then I got mad. So what the hell are all these women doing in the men's bathroom? So I shit on the floor and I left. They were all in there, so I just left. And as I left the bathroom, I saw the sign on the bathroom door. And I saw that the little stick figure man on the sign was wearing a dress. I said, no wonder you all are confused. The symbol for the male-only designated area is a cross player. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot have this sort of thing. I'm a cross player too, so I understand his plight, the whole freedom of getting jobs or whatever. But we cannot have this stuff. We have to draw the line, so I drew the line. From the middle of his legs, downward. <laughs> to represent the penis he was concealing, to prevent any further confusion. <laughs> yeah, I crossplayed. I actually crossplayed earlier today, and uh, I, get, I, get, I get a lot of shit for it, like I did earlier. This guy came up to me and starts flirting with me. And, you know, if you flirt with me and you're gay, that's fine. It's flattering, it's a mistake, and it can happen. If you flirt with me and you're straight, it's weird. Well, no. Which is sexy. But anyways, I was cross-playing, and then he, fin he finally realized I was a guy, and then he was furious. And suddenly I had wronged him in some way. He was yelling, he was like, what are you, are you gay? Are you some kind of gay faggot motherfucker, you fucking queer faggot motherfucker? I'm like, whoa, whoa, that's offensive. That was gay, why would I fuck your mother? If I was straight, why would I fuck your mother? Trust me, this guy, if you see this guy, if his mom looks anything like him, fucking her is not the thing you would be thinking about. <laughs> I was kind of angry at this guy, so I just let him have it. I said, you know what, buddy? I get more pussy looking like a woman than you would if your dick was made of chocolate and your cum was made of money. <laughs> uh, I'm not gay because I'm gay. I'm not gay. I don't care what my boyfriend tells you. <laughs> Seriously, don't listen to him. He is a fucking liar. The day we met, he swore he didn't have herpes. <laughs> because I'm gay, I'm not gay. I do it because I like looking good. I'm actually straight. I like pretty girls. I look pretty as a girl. It kind of makes sense. <laughs> I actually met my last girlfriend by cross plane, and I ended up marrying her. I divorced her, too. <laughs> That's the first step towards divorce, marriage. <laughs> but it was all right. She actually said that I remind her of Russell Graham. I don't know why she said that. Yeah, she said, well, 
because you're a jerk, you do too many drugs, and your last girlfriend was a whore. I'm nice. <laughs> yeah, but we got divorced. She took everything in divorce, too. And I was really young when we got divorced, so I really didn't have anything important to take, so the most that she got were my vintage anime from Japan that I actually got in Japan. Yeah, and my and classic manga that's actually worth a lot of money. It was actual individual manga, and she took it all. I said, can't you keep the kids? <laughs> She's retarded. <laughs> yeah, I don't mean that as, as it's not an insult. She's like clinically, me mentally retarded. Yeah, I, I knew she was retarded the day we met because I saw her and she was wearing a bowie outfit with one of those mini top hats. And you have to be retarded to wear those things. <laughs> You don't necessarily have to be retarded to wear those things, you could just as well be stupid. <laughs> yeah, but she was really cold. I actually had to dump her, not because she was retarded, you know, I'm an open-minded guy, her pussy got wet just like everyone else's. <laughs> but I actually had to dump her because I found out she was a whore when we were in Japan. And I found out because we went to a bathhouse together and Jiraiya of Naruto was there and when he saw her, he left. <laughs> She was such a horror, she used to get phone calls in the middle of the night from anti tentacle monsters asking her for advice. <laughs> yeah, I used to go to a lot of convention dances. I actually had to stop that though. And that's the thing you want to do when you want to prove to people you're not gay. Go to a rave. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that gay people were in raves. Well, I'm from San Francisco, so maybe you don't know that. <laughs> I actually, but the last dance I went to was at an AX a couple years ago, and I, it freaked me out. It was a really bad experience. I was, I was in there, and some guy taps me on the shoulder. I turn around, he's all getting all up in my face, and he's like, Oh, hey, baby. How are you doing? I was like, kind of uncomfortable. Oh, baby, your voice is kind of low. And I'm like, yeah, my dick is kind of big. Stop talking about it. But he didn't stop. He kept going. He says, you know what, baby, why don't you come up to my room for the night and pretend you don't want it? And I was shocked. I was stunned. I was like, what? Did you just preposition me for sex? <laughs> Got any money? <laughs> he didn't have any money. <laughs> Seriously, you gotta ask for money for shit like that, though. Have you seen the prices of the shit in the dealer's all? Those are crack prices. <laughs> you have to suck dick to afford some of the stuff that you Give it up once again for Give it up for both! 